How is lift affected by angle of attack? Here's a plane of French trainer Nord Aviation 3202. When an airplane is at level flight, the thrust equals the drag and the lift equals the weight. Also equals to the dynamic pressure times wing surface area times lift coefficient. This is known as the lift formula. To understand how lift is affected by angle of attack, you should know this graph well in aerospace. The line connecting the leading edge and trailing edge of an airfoil is called cord line. When an airfoil is having negative angle of attack, which is the angle between the cord line and the relative wing, the airfoil is not generating any lift, so we call it zero lift angle of attack. As the angle of attack increases and getting close to zero, the airfoil is starting to generate lift. When the aircraft's at level flight with zero angle of attack, smoke streamline goes smoothly over an airfoil in a wind tunnel, and the smooth flow is called laminar flow. Usually, an airfoil is rounded on the top while the bottom is relatively flat. The Bernoulli's principle and venture effect tell us the air above the wing is traveling faster than the air below the wing. And as a result, the air pressure below the wing, also called positive pressure, is greater than the air pressure above the wing, also called negative pressure. How exactly does lift generate is complex, but generally speaking, air always moves from the area of high pressure to area of low pressure. So the wing is lifted upwards through the point of center pressure, or CP, which is the total sum of the pressure field acts on the airfoil. The other aerodynamic force acting through the center pressure is drag, and here is the resultant force. Since the airfoil is not having any angle right now, we have lift coefficient at zero angle of attack. Airplanes usually have positive angle of attack at cruise in a level flight. The negative pressure field above the wing become larger and thus the airplane has more lift, and the center of pressure moves forward. The airplane become less stable because the distance between the lift and weight reduces. The wing is not only having the laminar flow, but also having small amount of turbulent flow, which is all the small bubbles and eddies. The turbulent flow is more energetic and has greater interaction with the wing surface, thus it creates more skin friction drag. But as long as most of the relative wing confirms to the surface of the wing, the lift coefficient gets greater as the angle of attack increases. Since the airplane is at cruise, we have alpha cruise, and the lift coefficient in this situation is called CL cruise. When you reach the critical angle of attack, some people call it maximum angle of attack or stall angle of attack, usually around 15 degrees. The relative wing is massively disrupted and wake was created behind the wing, which significantly reduced the lift and increased the drag. The boundary layer is no longer able to remain attached to the wing. The lift is suddenly reduced and the aircraft is aerodynamically stalled, which is very dangerous. The lift coefficient is symbolized as CL max, and 1.5 is a typical number. When the graph is linear, the lift curve slope is usually called CL alpha or A. Here I list all the equations of every term. These equations are pretty basic and very useful in aircraft design. Besides angle of attack, the other factor that affects the lift coefficient is the shape of an airfoil. Usually when an airfoil is more cambered, the lift coefficient is increased. When the airfoil is negatively cambered, the lift coefficient is decreased. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave the comment below. It will be very helpful. Thank you for watching.